1.5 billion people already use WhatsApp Messenger to chat, send files, make calls, all that stuff. And the service was initially designed as a mobile-only chat platform, but not too long ago, WhatsApp introduced WhatsApp Web or WhatsApp Desktop that basically allows users to use WhatsApp on their computers. And so here's everything you need to know about WhatsApp Web. WhatsApp Web and WhatsApp Desktop are actually the same thing, just slightly different. WhatsApp Web is actually WhatsApp on a browser, while WhatsApp Desktop is actually a dedicated application that you download from the website and install on your computer. But they both let you do the exact same thing, and that's let you use WhatsApp on your computer. So whichever you use, the first step is always to link WhatsApp on your computer with the WhatsApp you already have and use on your smartphone. You can't have WhatsApp Web or WhatsApp Desktop without WhatsApp on your smartphone. So launch the WhatsApp application or go to any browser and open web.whatsapp.com. You'll immediately see a page like this with a barcode. Then open WhatsApp on your smartphone, then go to the menu and select WhatsApp Web. If you've never used WhatsApp Web before, then it will open the barcode scanner right away. But if you use it before, then just tap on barcode scanner and then scan the barcode on the WhatsApp web page. It takes a second to scan and pair your smartphone WhatsApp to the WhatsApp web or WhatsApp desktop. And then you'll see your WhatsApp on the desktop, your chats, your contacts, your media, everything will look familiar. The interface is so clean and it should take you a minute just to get used to navigate and make everything easier. But the first thing you notice really is just how much easier it is to chat on your computer's keyboard compared to the keyboard on your smartphone. The mouse will replace all the touch controls and navigation and you can see your profile picture, you can start new charts, see other people's WhatsApp status, visit their profiles, etc. But one thing you should know is that having WhatsApp on your computer doesn't in any way replace WhatsApp on your smartphone. In fact, WhatsApp web simply reflects what's happening on WhatsApp on your smartphone, which means your smartphone that has WhatsApp must have an active internet connection for WhatsApp web to work. And it will let you know when there's no internet connection on your smartphone so it won't be able to send chats through the whatsapp web interface in fact it also lets you know when your smartphone is running low on battery because it knows that's a potential interruption to your whatsapp web experience but there are a few things that whatsapp web lacks like voice and video calling although it will notify you that there's an incoming call so you can receive it on your smartphone and that's only if you have whatsapp desktop notifications turned on and you also can't post whatsapp status from the whatsapp web but you can see WhatsApp status posted by other people and you can also see how many people saw the status you posted using your smartphone. Okay. But even with these drawbacks, the comfort of using your computer's keyboard to type WhatsApp messages is oddly satisfying. That and other extra stuff like being able to use two different WhatsApp accounts on two different browsers on the same PC, also using picture-in-picture -picture mode, for instance when someone sends you a YouTube video link, you can watch that video while still continuing to chat with other people and that same person. All these things make it worthy. Anyway, that's WhatsApp web for you. And I can tell you right now, it's the same exact experience if you install the standalone WhatsApp application on your desktop, either from the WhatsApp website or if you get it from the Microsoft store. So let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more tips. Until the next one, my name is Chris and I'll talk to you guys soon.